it was cool to um, go blonde and to really feel like I uh, had the opportunity to become this person um, and to tell his story because it's so important and so relevant to today. So that honestly was a big part of that uh, sort of transformation for me. As an actor, it's like when a role like this comes your way, it's like you, you, you're like chomping at the bit, you know, to, to, to do it. Cause it's, it's like, it's rare that, that you would get that opportunity. Hi, my name is Reed Miller and I play Jaden Bell in the film, Joe Bell. I want to say it was, uh, uh, so I, I did a short film uh, when I was like 15 and it was like a, a Western and that's kind of the earliest I can remember. Uh, it's called Marty and I believe that's what it was. And it, it, it turned out really funny actually, but it's just, I think back and I kind of cringe because I'm like, oh God, I was so young and little and I looked like I was eight years old when I was 15. Um, but no, I think that's that was one of my first, and I believe it was a student film. I think the highlight of my year career-wise is um, Joe Bell finally being released and like everything's finally happening with it. Um, you know, at the beginning of the year when everything happened and everything shut down, it was kind of like, I felt kind of lost for a minute because it was like, of course, right as we're gearing up and, and, and we're editing, we're doing ADR and all this stuff, everything shuts down. And it was like, I I don't know, like it was just such a moment of like, well, what, what happens next? You know, where do we go from here? So the fact that it premiered at Toronto, it did as well as it did and people are reacting to it, other reacting to it is such a blessing and it just proves that we all put in the work and we just all need to needed to be more patient and it's so i definitely think that that's the highlight of my year career wise i think the highlight of my year personally um hmm i would say finally getting my hair back to its normal color <laughs> that took so many haircuts it wasn't even funny um so it's nice to feel like um, myself again you know, like to feel like I've, I'm kind of back in my own skin after that experience. Joe Bell, which I know like is like, oh, come on. But it, I mean, it is because it's like, I learned so much from it. It was such an incredible journey. And to have the opportunity to tell Joe and Jaden's story with the people that I was getting to tell it with, like Mark Wahlberg, Connie Britton, Gary Sinise, uh, uh, Ronaldo Marcus Green. I mean, it was just an incredible team of people. And, you know, that was just an honor. So nothing has topped it so far. And I don't know if anything will, because it was just such a great experience. <sighs> I've learned that if I ever had any doubt that uh, acting was not, you know, if I, if I ever had any doubt that I, I wasn't supposed to be an actor, that's all gone now. Because now that I, I haven't, you know, a lot of people haven't been working during during quarantine. So having that sort of cut off has been a big eye-opening experience of like, I need this. Like I'm supposed to do this. You know, it's like, I'm, I just turned, you know, 21. It's like, you have those moments of, well, you know, what, what am I doing? Like, is this, is this what I'm supposed to do? Like, and, and the quarantine really taught me, it's like, yes, it is. Like, when I don't have it, I feel lost without it. It's just like such a deeply personal thing. And, you know, that's kind of what I learned about myself, which is that it's like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is the path I'm supposed to take, even if sometimes it's, it feels too hard or, or, you know, there are other things that would be easier. It's like, no, this is who I am and what I'm supposed to do. So that's honestly, that, that's, I think a positive thing that came out of quarantine for me, for sure. My weirdest quarantine purchase, huh? To be honest, I haven't bought a lot, but I will say something my mom bought because it was kind of hilarious. So we we bought toilet paper, like literally everyone else, and she bought it in like I don't know, like July. Like she bought it like re like pretty early on. And we didn't get it for like two months, first of all. 
And then it, by the time it shows up, the roll was like this big. Like I, I have a photo somewhere, but I, I put it on my Instagram story. It was literally like the size of like a crayon. Like it was just like, like wrapped up. Like it was so, it was so funny. And I think that's the weirdest thing that's, that we probably bought. And, and it didn't even turn out like how we wanted it to. <laughs> it was just like, like a small roll of toilet paper. Like it was, it was so funny. Probably go to a bar. Honestly, I just turned 21. It's like, I wanna have that experience just once with my friends, you know, it's like, I think when things open back up, I'm gonna go once and then that's gonna be it. It's like, I have the experience, I'm gonna go home now. You know, like that's that's probably what I'm gonna do. Oh, okay. So there's this, there's a film that came out um, about like a month ago, I, I would say, and it was called Love and Monsters. And I, I was able to see it in theaters and it had Dylan O'Brien from Team Wolf and the Maze Runner films in it. And um, I saw that with a friend and it like, not to get all whatever, but it struck such a deep emotional chord because of like what it's about, you know? Like it was just like, it was kind of like a revelation like for like something going on in my life. I was like, wait, what? Like, it just like, why do I feel like it's talking to me right now? This is weird. But I would say definitely that movie because it, I kind of went in like with low expectations and I was absolutely blown away. So that was a really cool theater experience to have too. There's a lot of lot of lot of things in the air right now. Nothing I can really comment on, unfortunately. Um, but hopefully, something really cool. There's some really cool stuff in the mix right now. Um, you know, so fingers crossed that I'm able to come into the new year with a, a great new project. There, are, these these things are really cool and would be a really great next step. So, fingers crossed that that, that uh, works out.